Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which I will be guiding you through how to complete all three stages of the Leslie Celebration Escalation in Berlin. So as you can see this default starting location, and indeed the mandatory starting location, is just as you enter the club you need to get frisk but once frisking is complete you can just head around to the rear of the kind of entrance booth um, so you'll see here just head around and to the right into the staff only area which is trespassing but there's no one around to see you and up these stairs out onto the roof and grab the crowbar there there is a guard on the roof but he won't see you as long as you are you know paying attention um, and then sneak in here again there's a guard sitting outside well that's part of her rotation but she won't see you if you stay crouched and just run along the side I found um, then you need to wait for a little bit so you need to wait for the guard who is with the target to leave this area and it takes a moment but you know preferable to just wait I know it's boring but preferable to wait uh, and not need to deal with an additional guard when you're taking out this target uh, and once he leaves the room you do need to try and be reasonably swift about it uh, killing this target and then hiding the body because he comes back into the room fairly promptly so with the body hidden uh, you should hide the body there otherwise obviously you're not going to receive a silent assassin rating because the guard comes back into the room and will see it you can then head back into the public area of the club had my crowbar out then which you would think people might query in a nightclub but no one cared and then head downstairs and to the I think it's called the juice bar well is it that might be a different bar this bar anyway that's just off to the left I don't think it is the juice bar is it and then um, you can use this laptop as the distraction which is going to bring your next target back around the corner just turn it off as soon as you've turned it on so that none of the other waiters at this bar feel the need to come and check it out and you know you you can use anything to achieve this kill but I decided to use this knife which you need to use for one of the kills in a in a later stage anyway and then hide that body uh, pretty sure no one comes back here unless you prompt them to anyway so you probably didn't need to hide it but it is hidden and then just make sure you pick your moment to run back into the public area. You you ideally want to do it when the waiter is, is looking away. Um, because although you very, very quickly do get back into the public area, which isn't trespassing, you don't want to be, um, you know, you don't want to be momentarily spotted, which would lose you your silent assassin rating. And then you need to find an exit. Um and annoyingly none of the quick exits are really on the cards here so really all that's left for us to do is to actually run all the way back out through the entrance we came in all the way along the line and to the uh, bicycle over here that you can use to exit the first stage and that is the first stage completed with silent assassin rating intact okay and on to the second level of this escalation so again entering the club you will need to be frisked but that's not a big problem here so while we're frisked i'll explain what you should bring with you slash uh, have supplied into this mission so i would recommend using the staff room supply drop for a silenced pistol uh, i would personally recommend using the krugelmeyer uh, just because it's the quietest and you don't need any particular stopping power here. So as you'll see, I have I have got that supplied into the supply room here, uh, the staff room here, and you can see me picking that up. And the other thing I bring with me for this run is an emetic syringe. Uh, you'll see that that comes in very helpful later on in the escalation, or this stage of the escalation. So 
as you start the level, your target will be just to the left of where I just ran past. Uh, we need him to make his way to the bathroom, which he starts doing very shortly after you start the level. So we're just going to stand here and admire the nice neon lighting for a moment. Greetings, sir. And it takes a little while. You can see on the minimap here, he's just making his way past us. There he is. Just making his way past us now in his jazzy dungarees. And he will go into the far right hand stall. And I think you can probably tell where this is going. A nice accident kill here. Drowning him in some grotty club toilets. But that's him done. And... Uh, bonus here, you don't need to hide the body, I can confirm. Uh, you'll see that that presents a little difficulty for us in the third stage, uh, but for the second level of the escalation, you do not need to hide that body. It will not be found, despite there being loads of people in that area who you would think would, like, at some point very possibly see the body. No, I can confirm that reliably no one will find that body once you leave it where it lies after drowning him. So, Heading now down the stairs, we're going to go past the bar that we killed our second target at from the first stage. So again, pick your moment to sneak past the uh, two waiters whilst they're not looking. Then in this area, you can't go through that main door, so you just have to go through these side doors. Um, and then we pick up a crowbar here, which will allow us to get through locked doors from now on. Sneak past this guard. So just hug the wall and then you can do the switch cover to here and then you're past him um, and then there's there's many ways to approach this particular bit you'll see that I kind of this is this is a slightly high risk strategy to be honest because I loudly take that guard out as in knock him unconscious and that draws my target towards me even though he was walking away so it all works out for me and there's where the silence pistol comes in um, but yeah, that's high risk. You'll see that in the third stage, uh, there's potentially a more subtle way to do that. Uh, and also a way, actually, it, that avoids needing the, um, the silenced pistol. So you didn't actually need to bring that with you here, but I did. So hide those bodies and just hoover up anything on the ground. Um, no one should... Oh, actually, there are people who do come through this area. So yes, you do need to make sure that you hoover things up. Um, and then drop down for the area for our final target for this stage, the DJ booth. So just get down all this scaffolding, which takes a little time. Then this is where we need the crowbar to get this door open. And then you'll see that I use the emetic poison just to get the one other person in this room out of the way. Um, there may be other ways to do this. Uh, there's certainly a way to draw him out and then knock him unconscious. So yes, there are other ways to do this, uh, but whatever, an emetic poison worked in this particular instance for me. So just leave it a moment, he'll become sick and leave. And if you left it long enough, he would come back, but we're not going to be hanging around once he's out of the way. Everything we need to do will occur very quickly. Now this takedown on the third and final target, the DJ, uh, as long as you subdue him, I found um, the many onlookers will not know what's going on, will not see, which I suppose makes some kind of logical sense if you just dragged him instantly to the floor. Any other form of violence on him whilst he's there and it, it, there is a high possibility that it will be seen by the people who are obviously watching the DJ. Um, so then, you know, snap his neck, put him in there and we can make our way to the exit. Here, if you go up uh, one level uh, onto the kind of ventilation piping here, and then just make your way to the end and drop down when you're somewhat confident people aren't watching, because this, this exit can be a difficult one to use without changing outfit, um, but which you're not allowed to do, obviously. But if you drop down in the right place and just quickly run over there and use the door, uh, you get away with it. And on to the third and final level of the escalation. So again, as we enter the club, let me run you through what you should bring with you slash have supplied in for this third and final mission. 
Um, you should, you, you do not need to have the Krugermeyer supplied to you or any silenced pistol supplied to you as we did in the second round. You should instead bring with you one emetic syringe and have another emetic syringe uh, supplied into the room behind the bar, uh, which you'll see me obtain in a moment. Well, not in a moment because there's quite a lot of waiting around at the start of this one, but you'll see me um, pick that up in in due course. Um, two emetic syringes is very helpful on this level. Uh, as I mentioned in the second run, I, there are other ways to approach it, but you know, if you've got access to the emetic syringes, why not? Because you don't need anything else particularly in this level. So the first thing we're going to do is rather than go into the bathroom, uh, make your way into the staff only area next to it and come and grab this uh, screwdriver. It's just a convenient item to cause a distraction, to be honest. The guard who is outside that room is one of the most oblivious guards I have come across in this game and will never notice anything you're doing. Well, unless you make loud noise. Um, but you can kind of come and go freely from that room behind the guard there. So, as I said, a lot of waiting. Um, you'll see me checking out the neon lighting again. Um, the problem for us here is that the third stage contains a condition that you must hide everybody and that is to be honest mainly difficult for this first kill which was so easy in the second run um, because if you were to drown him as we did in that uh, for that second run um, then you, you can't hide the body anywhere in that room and you obviously can't drag it past the many many onlookers outside the room so I'm just killing time here running between these things but you have to wait for him to go to the bathroom and uh, when he's on his way back you, you may be able to actually catch him with the distraction that I end up using whilst he's going into the bathroom which would save you some time the reason I didn't attempt that on this run was because there was a guard literally right next to him who probably would have checked out the distraction instead of him here as he's walking back there so you saw that's our target he was walking back from the bathroom as he's passing that gap that I was in throw the screwdriver or any other distracting item and it will um, cause him to come over here and check it out and that's when you can knock him out and drag his body behind this oblivious guard into the room where we got the screwdriver from initially that's the room in which we can snap his neck and hide the body and that's our first target eliminated and body hidden we now need to make our way all the way downstairs uh, for the new target for this uh, third level who is he's based on the Florida man um, character and he is patrolling the lower level and the upper level of the actual nightclub area I, I don't know how to refer to these areas but anyway he goes from a bar on the very bottom floor to a bar on the penultimate bottom floor I suppose is the better way to put it um, and he goes between those areas and so and spends a little bit of time in the general kind of dance floor area as well um, whilst making his way between the bar on the very bottom floor and the bar on the second to bottom floor so anyway, we're going to try and catch him as he comes up these stairs in between those those two areas. Uh, as you can see, he's, he's currently just out on the dance floor. So we, again, have to spend a little bit of time waiting here. Um, you're going to use one of your emetic syringes on him, basically, as he's coming up the stairs. Uh, because on, on his routes, there's actually very few places where you can really get him with an emetic syringe uh, without people noticing and the stairs was just the area that I identified as best to do it on um, your mileage may vary but uh, it's a strategy that works um, to be honest I'll be interested once I check out how other people did this to see how other people got this guy and especially how you hide the body because to be honest he'd be a difficult target even if you didn't have to hide the body anyway so just as he goes past the back of this guy who won't notice even if you do it right behind him that's when you want to get him with the emetic syringe and that will cause him to come up to this area that you'll see I'm going to beat him to now 
and that is where you're going to be able to take him out and hide the body. But yeah, this one was a difficult one. Had me slumped for a little while as to the main difficulty, obviously, is getting him within a metic syringe. Um, once you've done that, he he comes to a very easy area to do the kill. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how other people were doing this target because it did take me a little while to figure out where I could actually get him without being spotted. Anyway, so he's down. Um, as long as you knock him out without anything too loud, no one else in the corridor is going to notice. Hide the body. Remember, you do need to do that for every target here. And then we're going to make our way past our favourite bar in this particular escalation. So again, wait for that waiter to be looking away before you come behind here. Uh, we need to pick up that kind of box cutter knife that you saw me use in the first round. And you'll see I, I go back now because I remember I didn't pick up the second emetic syringe which we had smuggled into this area. So that's where that comes in useful. Um, pick it up because we do need it or we don't need it that's the wrong terminology exactly um, we it will be helpful for uh, the DJ target again anyway so here is our guard target um, you'll remember we got him with a pistol headshot in the second escalation here you have to kill him with this box cutter knife but that's fine because that's actually a cleaner way to do it the guard who I took out with a crowbar in the second run uh, is asleep and will not notice uh, just pick up the gun so that that doesn't cause you any issues I can't see why it would um, and then we can jump down and do the final target pretty much as we did in the second run to be honest so once you're at this point you're kind of free and clear uh, because there's a limited amount that can go wrong, as you'll see. So again, crowbarring open the door. Using our second emetic syringe. Do just be careful of what you do in the DJ booth. Um, you have to remember that there... It, it's an area that is at least in theory visible to a lot of people and um, I have found that various actions in that room can can get you spotted by someone or another even if even if the crowd aren't very good at spotting people um, the there are various guards who this this DJ booth is theoretically within their line of sight anyway so again we knock out the DJ we carry him well you could yeah carry him outside of the booth before you snap his neck and then hide the body and that is our four targets down all the bodies hidden and we're now wrapping up this third and final stage again just make sure that when you take this uh, ventilation piping over you, you drop down when you're somewhat confident that people aren't currently looking because as you can see you are at least in theory at risk of being spotted but once you reach the exit that's you done congratulations thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful please do like and subscribe thank you so much goodbye